radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. I am super excited for today's video. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Cancer. For your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, wherever you have the Cancerian placement in your chart, you can apply this too. Before we get started, check me out on Etsy in the description below if you would like your own private tarot reading. For your protection, that's the only place, the only way you can get a private reading from me. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel. Also check out my completely free radio show um, in the description. Other than that, let's get right into it, Cancer. Let's see what's going on this week for Cancer. What are the messages for Cancer? What does Cancer need to hear? What are the messages for Cancer? What is going on for Cancer this week? <laughs> okay, I just heard meditation. That's going to be important for you, Cancer. It's going to be important that you're centered and tapped into what you want. I'm immediately kind of feeling like a, an opportunity come up here. And it's not that it's a good opportunity. It's not that it's a bad opportunity. But it is important for you to be tapped in and centered to yourself so that you can make a conscious decision as far as what you want to do, where you want things to go, if you're ready for the opportunity coming through, if that's where you see your life kind of going. Yeah, it's very important to be tapped in cancer. Okay, that one went out, so let's get into it. We have the five of air here. This is the first place that my eyes immediately go uh, this one says, an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or people who have questionable motives. So honestly, Cancer, I kind of feel like, you know, all that you've been through has led you to here. And I know that sounds dramatic, but it's just like the most recent lessons you've been learning lately about having boundaries, about, you know, only indulging in things that you consciously think about beforehand. All of that is needed now. It's very important for you to just be conscious of the decisions that you're making. We have the 10 of fire here. Working too hard or too many hours, the, needs for, the need for balance in your life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. Hmm. If you need to let go of something, Cancer, you're going to have to let go during this time. If you choose to hold on to something, Cancer, make sure that that is the right thing for you. Be sure of the decision that you're making. We have the wheel, so it's like we have all of the good energy here. It's just a little nerve-wracking. There's definitely some pressure with this. A new start or the end of delays. Sudden or unexpected progress. A very positive change in your life. Travel uh, or a new vehicle. So definitely, um, you may be doing some car shopping. I personally actually am right now. Um, you may be, you know, faced with this opportunity. It feels very much so like the universe is leaving you to your own devices, though, Cancer. And like I said, I'm honestly, I'm not getting like a good or bad energy where it's like, okay, this is a good thing coming through. This is a bad thing coming through. It's really just a matter of, you know, when you see your future, is this what you want to see in it? Is this what you would choose for yourself? If you were to, like, is this something you were, would manifest or is, is this just an opportunity randomly coming towards you that's exciting but not really something that you want? Would it get you distracted off your path? Do you have a predetermined path for yourself? Is this, you know, something that seems like it's in alignment with what you want? Logic and organization will increase your success. Take Take charge of the situation, accept a leadership role, structure and discipline. I'm getting a pain right now in my crown chakra like really bad randomly. I haven't really felt this. I'm sure I felt it before in my life, but it's really random. So I would, um, you know, definitely do some crown chakra work as well, Cancer. Um, you know, listening to crown chakra opening music as you're sleeping and meditating to it. I did hear that in the beginning of the spread. Meditating, so meditating so, to some crown chakra music and frequencies would really help you guys. 
And then we have balance, uh, blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. Interesting. Okay, so this is making me feel like there's someone coming through and they're offering you something. This could be a mentor. This could be a romantic partner. This could be, you know, someone who has the ability to further you, to get you from point A to point B. But tapping into this person's energy, I honestly don't, well, I feel like they have a, an element of persuasion to them, but I don't feel like a controlling or like a super powerful energy coming from them where it's like, okay, this person is really pressuring you, cornering you, and it's hard for you to make a decision. I feel like it's really just cancer really getting out of their people pleasing energy, transferring into a self pleasing energy um, and, and compromising, not saying yes to someone's idea if it doesn't completely align with what you want. If you feel like you're having to give up too much, make sure you have your list of demands as well. If someone comes towards you and they're saying, I want a relationship with you, Cancer. I see you in my future. You're the one for me. If you're truly the one for them, then you should be able to ask for and state what you want and need, you know? Two of Swords in Reverse that just came out, you know, not um, acknowledging how you feel or what you want out of the situation, not stating and being clear about your desires will not benefit you. Because, and yeah, it makes sense why I was getting more of a neutral energy. It's not a negative energy where someone is trying to force you to do something bad, but you can end up in a Five of Swords situation all on your lonesome. You can end up in a Five of Swords situation making unwise choices, giving way more than you should because you set that expectation that that's okay, or you set the expectation that you're one of those people who just have a lot to give. That's the thing. Like, you know, some people have a whole lot to give. They don't mind doing that extra stuff. It genuinely benefits. Like, for an example, some women just like that traditional kind of, uh, you know, role. They like to cook. They like to clean. They like to take care of the home. They want to be housewives. That's what they want for themselves. They don't feel oppressed. And their men respect them. They provide for them. They value them. And they have that cohesive relationship. Whereas for another woman, that would make her feel completely oppressed, undervalued, like she has no purpose, etc. If that isn't what you want, even if it's a good deal, you have to, you know, kind of meet this person in the middle. And if, like I said, you're truly the perfect fit for an opportunity or a person, they're not going to give you pushback on that. <coughs> it's kind of a hard energy to explain, but like I said, it's not that there's a bad deal coming through or someone's trying to take advantage, but there's an opportunity coming through and you're going to have to, you know, be clear about what you need. You can't go with the flow this time and you've already learned that. Oh, wow. We have the ton of cups here. So cancer, there may be some romance on the horizon for you guys, which is super, super exciting. Ten of cups. This is the perfect. Well, um, this is a well-oiled machine. This is the perfect opportunity. Crazy how at the bottom of the deck, though, bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords, which is definitely a very uh, self-sabotaging energy, a self-deprecating energy, not putting yourself first, not really valuing what it is that you need, per se. <laughs> So that energy is very present. You know, bottom of the deck represents the underlying energy of the situation. And uh, it's like Ten of Cups opportunity here. You have the opportunity to enter into a union with someone that's, you know, a high value union, like kind of really what you've been waiting for, whether it's platonic, whether it's, you know, a new friend group, a, a group of people you really resonate with, your soul tribe, you know, instead of going in like, how can I, you know, please the people in this group, just, just be and know you know your value you have to know yourself and your value here otherwise you're going to end up in a situation where you're feeling like you're getting walked all over but um you know if we kind of dial it back from that point to this point where you had the opportunity to state what you wanted <clears throat> set your expectations it would be like okay well that's kind of cancer's fault you know cancer didn't make it clear because like i said some women like to be housewives. Someone would feel oppressed. It's a matter of a matter of your perspective. <clears throat> okay, let's see. <clears throat> Ten of Swords in Reverse and the Sun card. This is really exciting. This is really good energy, Cancer. This is a rebuilding energy. This is a second chance for some of you. 
definitely an opportunity and you have all of the tools to be victorious over the situation but if you don't put yourself in an important position you know there's no way to win here because if someone comes in and they say well I want you and you come in and you say well I'm gonna state my demands but I'm gonna be considering what's best for me and you it's like you're still 25% 75% them in, in terms of importance because they said okay I'm, I'm all in I'm ready I want what's best for me and that's you if you don't come in with that same energy you're still kind of shortchanging yourself so this week is definitely gonna be about not shortchanging yourself when you're presented with opportunities you know oh okay I'm, I'm picking up on an energy of someone your manager is asking you to do more work or to lead a project and you have the ability in that moment to say okay let's start to talk about you know some compensation for this uh you know i saw something interesting how someone put it on tiktok they were talking about how you can state it like okay the roles that I'm fulfilling now are more in alignment with this job description, this position in our company, and that's how you can professionally state, I'm gonna need a, a raise on my queen because this work that I'm doing is actually a step up. So, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> But you're going to have that opportunity. You can't be afraid. You have to know your value. If they're coming to you to do the job, then they already recognize your value. So make sure you do that as well, Cancer. Uh, Ace of Swords in reverse for a Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is this is definitely an energy of giving yourself away for, for nothing, not really putting up a fight at all, to be honest. Um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. I don't know. This is kind of an energy of convincing yourself that, um, you know, Taking less than, than what you want or what you deserve is fair. And moving forward, just be being happy and excited that you have the opportunity. Moving forward, being happy that you're considered for the position, for the relationship, you know, to be with this wonderful person, but also not putting that same respect on your name. So seven of, or sorry, this is the six of swords. Six of swords in reverse. Hmm. yeah it's it's definitely a you thing cancer that's six of swords in reverse it's like there's nothing you know but you and your own way with this one let's see what's going on in romance <clears throat> okay so we have spiritual connection and ask for help spiritual connection a relationship uh, has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So very powerful connection, very strong connection. Ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to ask for and accept support is what this one says. So if you need to reach out to your guides, which is probably why my crown is having some pain right now, because I can feel that pressure. It's like, oh, it's almost making me tired. I can feel that pressure. Some of you really have that crown block, so it's hard for you to, it's like your angels, your guides, they're screaming, like really wanting to connect with you, trying to reach out to you and talk to you, and they're having a hard time to the point where it's painful. If you've been getting a lot of headaches and a lot of fatigue, migraines, mood swings, those could all be an uh, indication of this crown chakra block. Um, and then we have turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time where you experienced love. Yeah, beautiful. Re reflect on a time where you experienced love. Reflect on a time where you got everything you wanted. Now create that again, you know? Whereas before you may have just experienced love, but now you've kind of leveled up and been through a few relationships at this point and, and you've learned through things through those people. That's why you were able to experience it. It may not have been something that you necessarily fought for and went for more so something the relationships in the past have kind of happened to you but now it's time for you to create what it is that you're looking for moving forward by being honest with yourself with other people uh we have rest and relaxation is essential i've been getting this energy for cancer for a couple of weeks now where it's like prepare 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 get ready relax 
because things are about to be, you know, kind of, things are about to kind of go into a whirlwind. I've been getting that energy with Cancer for a minute where it's like important for you to just kind of center and chill out because things are going to get a little crazy. Your schedule is going to be busier, you know, you're going to have someone really pressing you for your time in the best possible way, not to be demanding, but just because like they're into you. And for an example, like if you're a content creator or someone who doesn't have like a traditional schedule, if you're working to be an entrepreneur, start your own business, or if you do have a traditional schedule schedule you have to set those boundaries I can't talk to you on the phone every night all night you know or I'm sorry I'm working right now like I can't talk to you I know this is right like set those boundaries so that you don't get behind set those boundaries so you don't wake up in the morning you got to be at your job at 8 a.m. and you're tired you can barely get out of bed you know even on that level like when this comes through make sure you're consistently setting boundaries and this isn't about telling someone what you you know deserve and yada 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 and really going in this is about just, you know, being honest and not, you know, because like I said, I don't feel like this is a manipulative, a manipulative energy. I can't say it right. I don't feel like it's that type of energy coming through cancer. It feels just like someone's just ready and willing and wanting to explore you and, and spend time with you. And um, it's a time consuming, you know, phase you're kind of walking into cancer. And so it's just like you just have to, you know, state that. I don't feel like this person is trying to like rob you of your time it's just like you have to kind of like set up those boundaries whereas before you may have gotten all sorts of out of alignment and past connections because you know you gave up too much of yourself we all have a fundamental need to take a break is what it says at the bottom of that one let's pull some of these Also, if people are doing the same for you, setting boundaries, this definitely feels like a, a, a new type of connection that Cancer hasn't really experienced before. If people are doing that, not taking it offensively, you've learned not to be codependent, how to depend on yourself, how to be self-sufficient. Um, so it's time to really enact that regardless of how exciting this is. You know, you've learned how to manage this situation cancer you have everything you need to thrive here any other messages for cancer any other messages for cancer okay so we have adversity and pride that came out for you cancer at the bottom of adversity it says i accept the challenges that challenges are the best way to learn so this definitely is going to be an opportunity to unlearn some habits in an action-oriented way some people can learn things by watching other people go through things some people learn things through experience this is an opportunity to learn through experience cancer um so don't take these challenges as red flags you know a red flag when you see one you're smart cancer you learned that already um you know but <laughs> there are some challenges coming up and they're not bad it's just like it's real pride i love myself and i see myself reflected in everyone so this is a you know a situation where you have ownership this i honestly feel like you're being uh taught healthy love like how to healthily love someone not to have all of these expectations set for someone not to have like and I don't mean expectations as as in like what you need and require, but not all these expectations like they got to text me good morning every morning. That's how you get finessed. Like you'd be surprised at how a good morning text will change the whole energy and a connection. Have someone thinking like you really care about them when you don't. It's It takes two seconds to send a good morning text. Next thing you know, someone's like, oh my goodness, they were thinking about me first thing in the morning. And it's like, okay, but that doesn't really mean anything, you know, like let them apply pressure in the in the best possible way let this opportunity um really show you its value and yeah that's what i have for you cancer you can check me out on etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading for your protection only place the only way you can get a private read from me like this video please subscribe to my channel check out my free radio show also in the description and i love you cancer be careful what you wish for and i will see you in the next one Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.